What is up YouTube? Today is going to be the final off season full day of eating of 2021. Prep starts next week, we're getting down to it. So I wanna show you guys kind of the last stage of my bulk that I've been doing. This is the highest calories they've been all year. Still not as high as they were last year, I don't think, because I stayed a little leaner and grew this year. So I had a longer off season as well, which helped. But I'm gonna be going through with you guys everything I've been eating recently. Just woke up, did cardio, stretched, did some shit. I'm trying to get into my right routine now because prep starts next week and you just feel way better being in routine. After all that, I come down and I take my vitamins. These are the basics I take in the morning, if you can even see that. I take more than this, but in the morning, I always just make sure I get in the lipid and kidney, which is for like heart, cholesterol, kidney health. And then I take omegas, K2, D3, and vitamin C. Everything I take just like the regular dose, except omegas, you're supposed to take like two or three a day. I take like 12 a day because I think you just can't have enough omegas and they're great for inflammation and I care about reducing inflammation. So take those. Use code CBUM if you order Revive MD. Also, I don't feel like I never do weight check-ins, so I'm finally going to show you guys how much I weigh right now. I've already kind of posted it, I think, but I'll be giving you guys an actual show on the scale. This is absolutely eaten nothing. Did a little cardio, drink a little water, so it may be like, I don't know, 0. 0.2 pounds heavier, but I'll put my phone down and show you guys how much I weigh. Two sixty four point six. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be today. Highest I've been is two thirty two sixty three. So, lucky me. Day of the vlog is a new morning high. All right, so meal number one, breakfast, whatever you like to call it, is a shake. I've been blending it up. I used to eat it as oats, but, and I'll probably, I'm definitely gonna go back to oats when I'm in prep and I'm hungry. But it's easier to get down this way and I water it down very much. I do a scoop and a half of Jack Factory chocolate peanut butter protein. And then I do one scoop of this Ultra Inflamex protein. It was recommended to me by a really smart coach who's just like good for inflammation and good for like, potential autoimmune flare-ups and stuff. So I do one scoop of that, one and a half scoops of the whey. I put in 90 grams of oats. Also, if you blend oats, quick oats work way better. I just ran out and this is all I have right now. I also put half a banana, approximately half a banana. Less than a half, I don't know. And that's literally all I put in this shake. I put a bunch of ice in it, not a lot of ice though, because I don't want it to be like slushy. And then I do a shit ton of water, so most people would think it's way too watered down. But I want to be able to drink it as if it's just like a drink, not like a smoothie. So add water to your liking if you do this. All right, so the final product, I don't know if you can see it moving in there, but it's watery. It's delicious and very easy to drink. It's definitely grainy with that much oats in it, but it is what it is. It's really not that bad. Typically, I'll have this and I'll also have toast and almond butter. Or what I've been supplementing that with lately is one of these bars. Kind of get fastened and because they sent me two boxes of them and again prep starts next week, I have to finish them by then because they taste so freaking good. These are the Jack Factory protein bars. These could see bum if you want to grab these. But I can make breakfast, shake, and a bar. Super simple, very easy. I'm not having eggs right now. I'm taking a little bit of a break from eating eggs. Because if I eat them too much during prep, I start to mess with my stomach, so I'm giving myself a break from it. This, calorie-wise, comes to 920 calories, and tell me this isn't easy to get down. It's enjoyable, goes down quick. I gotta get out of here, get to a massage, so I'm gonna put this down, and I'll see you guys for meal two. Damn it. What? I'm trying to be artistic. <clears throat> All right, moving on to meal numero dos right now. Cooking up some ground turkey. This ground turkey from True Local is way better than ground turkey from the grocery store. I don't know why a local farm, but it's like less fat, I guess. You don't have to be like close Wait, wait, to you me. have to go this way. You don't have to be like close Because I always try to come around. Hit it. Okay, yeah, that turkey is better. I think it's less fat, less shit in it, more actual turkey breast. So it tastes way better. 
and sweet potato. This cooked down to absolutely nothing, but it was like 575 grams raw weight of sweet potato. And this is the Japanese sweet potato, the white sweet potato. It's Courtney's favorite, and they get a little chewier. She cooked it to, how long you put in the oven? You do like, put them at 400 uh, for like 25, 30 minutes. Shake them halfway through. 400 until they're like, I like some being burnt, so the rest are a little, rest are a little crispy. And I've been snacking on these because they taste really good. But it's gonna be sweet potato, 575 grams, and then 160 grams of ground turkey. Final product is quite boring. It's also a sad day, the boring meal, so I was gonna add some ketchup because ketchup is life. But look at how empty that is. That's sad. I'm gonna have to squirt some shit out of here real hard, so I'm gonna have to get to work on that. Eat that. All right, meal number three. Very boring, and we're headed out the door soon, so I'll make this quick. It's 160 grams of chicken breast, 280 grams of white rice, and 80 grams of guacamole. It's literally homemade guac, so it's just mashed up avocado with a lot of lime and a little bit of cilantro. This only comes to 661 calories. Not a lot, but just what you need. And I'm adding some Louisiana hot sauce. This stuff is like, I found it at an Airbnb when we were in Florida. It was just like, the only thing in the cabinet was this hot sauce and it tasted so good. So I found some here in Canada and added it to my meals because I like it. It's also zero calories, so shout out to hot sauces being prep friendly. This is it. I'll see you in the next meal. Beauty. <laughs> All right, so this is my pre-workout meal. Nutritious and delicious. I have 300 grams of white rice with a tablespoon of coconut oil. I have 190 grams of white fish. It's more meat content than I normally do because fish has a lower protein content. And then I have, this cabbage, right? Yeah. I always forget it. I have a random amount of cabbage. This stuff tastes really good. I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking hard on my veggies lately. I've been sluggish with it, but when prep starts, I'll be back in full forth. I've been having, green supplements and a fiber supplement, which do what I say, not as I do. I recommend you get it from real food. But I've been eating a lot and I've just been shitty at it. So this is all the veggies I'm having today probably. But how I make this taste good, because white fish doesn't always taste good, I put a full lime right onto the fish and then I add a little bit of this piri piri seasoning and I put this coconut amido in the rice and it tastes really good. And this stuff is no calories, this is low calorie, so if you're on prep, it's friendly. But I'm not, so it doesn't matter. Still tastes amazing. But I literally just squish a full lime in here, and I don't know, something about lime and fish just tastes amazing to me. Oh, That's some shit. ASMR right there. Oh shit, look at that aesthetics. Look at that, oh, it's just squirt out of there. Fucking awful. You're just. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that is my pre workout no, meal. No, you didn't put anything else on. Well, I didn't know I had to show it all. Yeah, you do. They want to see how much you do. Oh, they need to know everything? Well, now the pressure is on. Boom. I cook everything with no seasoning as well, so like, I'm not adding extra, this is just all I have on. Done. And this, oh, how did you cook this again? The cabbage? Um, oven at 400? Yep, yeah, oven 400, avocado oil spray or olive oil spray, if you want less oil like Chris. If you want it to be more oil, add real oil. So I'm gonna eat this. Get this down, go to the gym. I think I'm training chest today. I don't really know, I'm all over the place. Take some pre-workout. Hint, hint, hint. July, hint. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you for my post-workout meal. Sorry about the shitty filming. <laughs> all right, post-workout meal, making it right now. I'm a horrible influencer, so I didn't film a thing, single thing I did at the gym. Trained chest today. My shoulders have been getting a lot better, so I'll have to do a chest update video kind of showing how I'm training it with less pain right now. But it will not be a setback for the Olympia. We'll be 100%, so the worries are gone. Making right now, well, first of all, I'm drinking this amazing tart cherry juice. There's a lot of health benefits. I know one of the big ones that I like in it is it helps reduce inflammation. So it also tastes really good. It's like juice. It is juice. It's fucking fruit juice, but... It's not, <laughs> Courtney's laughing at me. It's not from Concentrate, it's the real good shit. So I'm having a little glass of that as I cook. The best meal ever. If you've ever watched a full day of eating, you're probably bored as fuck by now because I eat the same thing every damn time. Because I like it. This is my favorite brown rice pasta. It's from Tinkiata. 
the, I have like 140 some grams and it's like 570 ish calories for just a pasta. And then Stefano's marinara sauce, this stuff is a goat. And then I put, I make like a meat sauce with ground turkey in the microwave, pour it all together and it's delicious. So I'm gonna make that right now, post-workout. And I'll show you the final product. Right, so here is the final product. My favorite dish for getting in calories. Some good old pasta. So all together, including the tart cherry juice in this, comes to 1,101 calories for this delicious bowl of pasta. And it is the easiest way to get down a thousand calories. You eat this and it's like moist with the pasta sauce and just delicious and it goes down very easy. I know some people would say as I'm like always eating, being like, oh, I don't want to eat this much. It's hard to eat this much. You're like, oh, you don't need to force feed to grow. And not everyone has to force feed to grow, but if you're eating a lot and you're not really hungry, but your body fat's still low and you're not gaining weight, then you need to eat more and you do need to force feed. Not everyone needs to do it. You don't need to do it to the point where you're getting fat and like love handles and not any weight just because you think you need to bulk like that. But I still have abs right now. I'm eating more food than I enjoy putting down and I'm barely putting on any weight. So I kind of have to do it. And I've tried the whole route of like fancy food, fancy dishes, cooking all these different kinds of things and it just becomes a pain in the ass when you have to eat this much. You end up not being consistent. My body doesn't like it as much. My digestion isn't as good as it is when I eat the same stuff every day. So after trial and error, this is what I found that works for me. If you guys like eating more different shit, then go, go for it. But just kind of learning how your body responds to the best foods for you is the best way to do it. Don't watch my videos and think you have to eat like this. Don't watch fucking anyone else's videos and think you have to eat like them. Practice, trial and error, see what your body feels the best. I'm big on digestion. When you finish a meal, do you feel like shit afterwards? When we eat like different things like tacos the other night, my stomach was so full for like hours. I ate a lot given, but still it was different foods I wasn't used to and I just don't like doing that very often unless I'm like cheating and drawing a meal out. So I stick with the basics. The good stuff like pasta, chicken, rice, fish, and all that shit. Keep it simple and trying to get huge. All right, so sadly, my microphone's been acted out on me. You guys can probably tell in some of the videos, and it completely bunked out in this last clip. So I'm going to try and guess what I said. I'm going to do a voiceover here. This is like a week after, so I don't really remember, but I'll give it my best shot. This is my favorite thing ever. I'm approaching the end of my prep right now, or sorry, the end of off season, and I just want to let loose i want to eat food i know i'm not gonna eat for a long time so this isn't something i do year round but something i really just fucking love to eat so i went for it and the protein portion which i think i'm talking about here i do one and a half scoops of protein i've been doing that with my sebum series protein which is finally restocking next week so like mid july get ready for it 15th or so i don't have the exact date but i'll announce it finally restocking limited edition again so be ready but i mix that with a scoop of revive md daily greens the chocolate flavor that mix of the vanilla and the chocolate tastes really good the vanilla oatmeal cookie honestly goes with everything and I just take the greens just to get a little bit of like micronutrients in me because there's none else in this meal. I've been eating prunes too as well just to kind of help with digestion, going to the bathroom and all that good stuff. And I honestly really like the taste of dried fruit. So I do one and a half scoops of protein, one scoop of Rive MD greens, two prunes, and then onto the better portion of this meal, I have two cinnamon raisin bagels. This where it varies between toast or bagels. I just I'm obsessed with toast and bagels with butter on it. And I put ghee butter on it, which is this clarified butter, which is lactose free. I try and avoid lactose as much as possible for personal digestive reasons. And yeah, so like I said, this isn't something you eat all the time. I recommend you eat all the time, but it tastes damn good. And it's a good way to get calories in, getting protein and carbs the easy way. The total here comes to, of this meal, is 934 calories. So super easy to get in, almost a thousand calories, which brings the total calories for the day to 5,026 calories. So I just cracked over that 5,000 marker. I honestly had some snacks, so it was probably higher, but I don't always snack, so I didn't count it. The macros here are 685 grams of carbs, 122 grams of fat, and 295 grams of protein. As you can see, people always think my protein content is low when I'm only having 160 grams of chicken, but I'm getting more than I need. When I'm only aiming for 260, I still get like 295 with trace protein from carbs and all that stuff. But this is it. This is the final full day of eating of the off season. 
prep starting soon. It's the biggest, strongest I've been going into a prep. So I'm feeling really good, really excited. Probably going to start prep early this year too because I'm in such a good spot. Try and get ahead of the game and get after that three-peat because, yeah, I'm fucking fired up to do this again because last year was so good and this will too. So catch in the next one.